I am sitting here in Madison Square Park. I will do a 360 view past the people I'm going to talk to all around. This is now the third record, uh, Chant Records interview that I've done in this exact park. And I am very pleased today to be sitting here with Basia Schechter and E Prime, aka Eden Perlstein of Darshan. Um, as you may have heard, Chant Records is launching on November 1st. Darshan is one of the releases that we're going to release, along with Zion 80, The Fugu Plan, and Sandcatchers. So I just wanted to catch up with these guys about what's going on as we head toward the release and a lot of other exciting stuff. So do you guys just kind of want to introduce yourself and the project? Sure. Okay. Um, Basia Schechter. Um, I have a band called Pharaoh's Daughter, and I teamed up with Dina Perlstein on this project, uh, on a Darshan project. Um, that's me. Uh, my name is Eden Perlstein. I also perform under the name E Prime, and uh, this is number two in the Darshan Project installments. So the second album that you guys have done. The second album that Darshan has done. Yeah. Okay. And is this the first time that you guys are collaborating together? This is the first recording project album, that we're yeah. collaborating together. We've been performing together in different uh, ways for, I don't know, five or six years, but uh, we decided after performing together for a while that we wanted to set some stuff down uh, for recording. Awesome. So I don't know how many people out there have heard E Prime's work on his own and Basi's work on her own with Ferris Daughter, also the, the Heschel Project. I'm a huge fan. Again, as with the other music, I'm objectively saying that you need to check this music out, all of it. Chant is going to do our best to bring the new music to you, but there are whole back catalogs with a lot of musicians we've been um, working with. So, um, can you guys tell us a little about the music on the album, the kind of vision for the album? Can we switch seats for a second? Yeah, they're switching seats. <laughs> First of all, the album is called Raza, right? Yeah. Yep. So do you want to talk a little bit about what it's what's going on yeah, what, there? What's Raza? Raza means secret, so we're really not going to tell you very much. <laughs> and nice to see you. Take care. No, I'm just <laughs> <Okay>. kidding. <laughs> no. If we told you, then we'd have to... You know. Don't yeah. say it. It's on video. Um, but uh, it's, a, it's an album that takes the liturgy of the Friday night service um, that's traditionally in, in, a, in a synagogue on Friday nights. And we've kind of jazzed it up a little bit and... Uh, and, and maybe kind of dancey on the musical side of things. And Eden has this way of um, going really deeply into the text and creating these rap commentaries that are just like a whole nother universe, opens up a whole nother universe for these actual texts. So it's kind of a rap musical collage, sacred pop, um, avant garde thing. Thing, yeah. And, um, you know, just to build on what Basi was saying, when we first um, decided that we wanted to do a project together, uh, both of us agreed we had done a lot of albums where we were kind of picking and choosing um, different um, themes and source texts to work with. Both of us um, are deeply inspired uh, creatively by um, Jewish text and tradition and prayer. Um, but this time uh, we wanted to do something that was more of a cohesive unit. So we had a couple different options and, and it was a very natural fit uh, to, to go with the Kabbalat Shabbat um, Seder uh, in, in that Bas is a, uh, an amazing cantor up at Romamu on the Upper West Side. And um, so that was a natural fit for her musically. And for me poetically just the fact that Kabbalat Shabbat is such a um, po a collage of poetic texts from across Jewish history, from the Psalms to Kabbalistic poetry from the 1500s, um, that, it, that it, poetically it was also a natural fit and kind of really opened itself to the kind of poetic and musical reimagining that we applied uh, to the material. And it's almost like your poetry kind of highlights how gangster, like the poetry from 16th century was, uh -huh, you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, it's not only that you're gangster, but the actual original poetry that we're working from is also super gangster from like 1600s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and earlier, I mean, yeah. to me, you know, the, the Psalms yeah. in general are, you know, in, in, in a lot of ways, just not that I'm like such a gangster rapper, but you know, the, the element and the energy that, that hip hop brings 
to poetic expression um, in, encapsulating all of life and talking about some of the highest intellectual uh, peaks that humans can climb as well as just some of the most down in the dirt um, life situations that people are in. The Psalms themselves reflect that um, from, from David, you know, being a fugitive on the run, hiding in caves, you know, basically a, That's gangster, a, le especially a, le a legal, especially a, a legal and political outlaw to, you know, you know, there the horrific lines like blessed are the, you know, those who bash babies heads against right. rocks. That's I mean, always... when people are like, oh, I can't listen to gangster rap. It's like, dude, have you read the Torah? Like, have you read <laughs> you the to song? On Friday night? Yeah, like this, this stuff is crazy, you know? <laughs> Yeah, um, totally. So, totally. <laughs> so it, it really was. It really is a more natural fit and juxtaposition, like Bossy is saying, than people um, are initially mm -hmm. open to realizing. Mm -hmm. I think what we're doing feels like when we hear it at the end of the day, it doesn't sound like it's from this world only. Right. It really, it really, it, it starts. Up, it starts someplace, but it really becomes universal. I feel like it really. It, it, it explodes past the boundaries of where it came from to really have the we, the, the wings and the, 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 the wheels to go, you know, many more places. We sometimes bringing more references and knowledge actually could be a hindrance to somebody uh -huh. in, encountering the music because they're already bringing a, a load of assumptions. Right, right, right. And, uh, oh, this is right, that's not how it's said or that's not what it means or whatever. Um, so, so I think oftentimes, um, you know, music has the ability to speak far beyond, you know, provincial um, identities and, de and, and self-definitions. Um, and so, like Basia is saying, I mean, our, our music is rooted in, in a particular cultural context, but um, really for us, this work takes us deeper into that particularity so deeply that we come out the other side to to a kind of you know human universal um, experience yeah awesome um, and the the release comes out on November 1st officially on Chant Records but you guys have a Kickstarter campaign now fully underway in swing whatever however you say it it's go it's happening right now exactly right now mid kick mid kick they are they are they're solidly mid-kick, and do you want to tell people where they can see that or just why they should, uh, well, I think I why think you should support it has already it. been said. I you can find, find it. it. I think, I think you can find it on Google. Google. Raza. R-A-Z-A. Darshan. D-A-R-S-H-A-N. See the thing and then the commentary. That's what it is. K-I-C, oh no, you have to find it. Darshan Project, Raza, Kickstarter. You can find it. We've had an overwhelming um, response and a lot of support and positive feedback. So what date does it end? It ends on Yom Kippur. Which is which September is 30th? Which is September 30th. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So if you have a little break during like um, al Khay you know, you're doing this, you're <laughs> yeah. like, wait a second, I forgot. I'm sorry, I forgot to give to the Kickstarter. Oh my God, okay, then go to the bath. No. <laughs> <laughs> Take out um, your Shabbos phone. Right. <laughs> I have to get one of those. Um, okay, That's the great. iPhone 8. It's the Mashiach, it's the Mashiach version. Right. iPhone 8, you but, can use it on Shabbos and Chagim. But no. Raza by Darshan featuring <laughs> Eden Perlstein, a.k.a. E-Prime, and Basya Schechter. Comes out November 1st on Chant Records. Um, go to the Kickstarter, Google Raza Darshan. Darshan. That's going to get, I can't imagine those three words. You're just going to find them, so do it. Uh, November 1st on Chant Records. We are, oh, we are doing the, the special CD release event on October 28th at New Blue in New York City. The Chant Festival um, will be happening soon. Darshan, Raza, Eden, Basia, thank you. Peace. All right, more soon. Thanks, everybody. Let there be light. Set the breath to the flesh. Drop bones come to life. So many seek. So many strive for a view from the peak, just open.